Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 1st, 2022. My goodness, yesterday we finally, finally got a little bit of a relief rally. Can you believe it? Two days in a row that went in the same direction. Pretty amazing. And we didn't have a massive whipsaw. We did start the day with a little bit of whipsaw yesterday, but it wasn't one of those big um, gotcha whipsaws on the day. So pretty good situation here in the market. And we did improve some technicals, but we still have a lot to recover here in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Yesterday was nicely bullish and a nice relief. Um, we were able to take some really good profits and some uh, trades yesterday on, um, in right way options on this rally back up. We had to hold through some volatility in here though to get that done. Now, taking a look at these charts, let's notice right in here, we have significant levels of price resistance in this chart, just right above. So although we have had this nice recovery, I think it would be unwise to assume that we're just going to rip right back to the highs. We have a lot of technical damage in these charts, a lot of overhead price resistance. So although the relief was nice, let's not be, um, um, rushing in thinking that the all clear has been sounded because I'm not sure that um, happened just yet. Let's notice that we still have a downtrend in this chart and significant levels of resistance as we rally back up that we're going to have to work on. And it may require just a little bit of extra effort. And with um, a big plate of data today from earnings and economic uh, calendar, um, there could be some back and forth here in the market. We can't rule out that possibility that we push down um, just a little bit. Now, overnight, we had futures um, pushing lower and they have rallied strongly this morning to kind of uh, suggest a uh, flat to modestly down open this morning, at least at the, at the moment. Um, so keep in mind that we can't rule out that possibility that we could actually test overnight lows in those futures. We've seen that quite a few times last week, and we certainly could do the same today. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart on the diamonds. Let's notice that right at the end of the day, right at the end of the day, the last 30 minute surge, we were able to push above that 200 day moving average in the chart. But let's keep in mind, guys, we've created quite a zone of resistance, not only in price action, but in the technicals here in the chart. Notice that 50 day moving average has come down, shorter tumor averages have crossed down through that area. So we have a fairly significant level that we're going to have to push through. It would also be wise to realize that we're sharply off of the lows here from last Monday. So a little resting pullback might not be out of the question. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now our SPY had a better day yesterday than um, even the Dow, even though we have really big levels of price resistance in this chart overhead. Keep in mind, we still have that downtrend in play. We still have all of these resistance levels up through here that we're going to have to get through. So keep in mind, as we test these resistance levels in here, it wouldn't be out of the question to see a little bit of pullback, a little bit of rest here in the market, maybe even a consolidation over toward that downtrend. So watch that carefully. Again, the all clear has not been sounded. It was a wonderful relief but may not be uh, just the all clear being sounded here in the market. And when we take a look, um, when I say it did a little bit better job than the Dow, 
we actually crossed up early on the day as um, with the SPY crossing up through that 200 day moving average. Now keep in mind it's pretty typical when we cross through big moving averages that we can come back and test them as support and that would be a reasonable thing to see here in the market and we also have that 50 day moving average and shorter term averages crossing down so we've created a pretty substantial zone of resistance right in this area that we'll want to watch carefully. Then let's take a look at our NASDAQ. Now our NASDAQ had a nice relief coming back up yesterday and not only that we broke through a little bit of price resistance in the chart but unfortunately we have created multiple levels of significant resistance above in the NASDAQ index. So not the all clear here by any means as a matter of fact rallying all the way back up into here would still be a substantial test for the market and considering that we have a downtrend here in play uh, we've got a lot of work here. The bulls are going to have to um, really pull up those boots um, tight and charge hard if we're going to break through some of these levels. And I do think the bears are going to act just a little bit more feisty than they have in the past. And the reason that is, is we're starting to see some of those economic numbers, numbers slip just a little bit potentially seeing a demand problem in the market due to inflation and possibly even seeing that economic slowdown starting to begin in the light of rising interest rates. Now let's take a look here at our technicals here on uh, the QQQ and notice that we didn't quite make it above that 200 day moving average. So this would be a very common place when we hit a 200 day moving average. Notice our shorter term averages drawing down here pretty quickly that we could just pause rest or even catch a little bit of pullback in here on the day and that wouldn't be all that big of a surprise if we pulled back and maybe tested some support in here before we went on up so watch that carefully here in the chart we've got a lot of recovery here to do in the nasdaq and then let's take a peek at um, our iwm now iwm um, two days of relief rally but remember um, in that two days we set a new low iwm is one sick sick index and as you can see sharply moving in downtrends in this chart not looking healthy at all and although we did catch that relief rally this really didn't repair anything at all in this chart at least it was a nice little bounce but it didn't repair anything and if you take a look at the technicals here in the chart this is a pretty dismal looking picture with the 50 crossing down through the 200 all the shorter term moving averages diving down below that 50 day moving average sharply and we've got a nearly a year's worth of price resistance above to um, be a defense area for those bears so a lot of work will have to happen here in the Russell before we catch much recovery. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Now our VIX yesterday was floating around, it was kind of interesting yesterday, it was floating around not really doing a whole lot. We did pull back yesterday on that move, but boy the last 30 minutes of the day with that surge up finally pushed this down uh, below that 25 handle here in the VIX. So certainly that is a nice thing to see. We're seeing some of that fear drop out of the market but it may be just a little bit of over over exuberance in that rally um, back up yesterday um, which means that we could see a little bit of resting pullback that could still come in the market as a result of such a big surging move keep in mind we still have this upside trend in play so it'd be fairly common for us to pull back in here and then see a little bit of rest um, that's just a normal chart pattern and then we'll decide whether or not we can break this trend or break this support um, in that chart moving on lower or if we bounce off of it and move back up. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 had been signaling that we needed a relief. We were overdue for a relief and yesterday we certainly got it and at the end of the day it was interesting 30 minutes before the day we were right about here 
T21-22 in that last moment of the day, we just surged this back up. Now, one of the things I don't like about that is we've seen a lot of this recently, this wild speculation and this wild either running for the doors or racing into the market. And what happens when we do that, when we do these surge moves where we come from oversold to overbought in just a split second, it seems like, um, then we end up um, putting on that risk that we could quickly and harshly pull back. So watch that carefully. If we continue to surge to the upside, that could be a little bit of a problem. It would be a whole lot nicer if we take some time working our way back up, actually build some support, build some price levels in there that we can hold on to um, in the chart. So if we find inspiration today for the upside, and there is reason that we could, we have quite a little economic data, we have quite a little earnings data coming our way, then we still have plenty of upside opportunity. But once again, I just hate to see a surge straight back up here into that bearish reversal zone. If um, the bears find some reason for inspiration, and they certainly have reason for potentially doing that with some of the data today, then we um, have opened up a pretty sizable opportunity to move back or pull back um, in the indexes. So watch that as well. Let's take a look at our T2107, excuse me, T2108. Now T2108 had a nice improvement yesterday, but I got to tell you, it just wasn't enough to really um, be all that um, inspiring. Let's take a note right in here that we've got quite a little resistance above. Um, in that chart, and we are still substantially downtrending here. We closed the day 25% of our stocks above the 40 day moving average. So certainly an improvement, but not exactly that warm and fuzzy we'd probably like to see and just feeling um, all energetic here in the market. I don't think we're there just yet. And then if we take a look at our T2107, got to tell you guys, this um, was a nice improvement yesterday, but didn't really fix anything. Notice that we have rallied up here. We've got some resistance in that chart above about 28% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. Still very, very oversold. A lot of work needs to be done here. And obviously um, this downtrend has been one tenacious downtrend to try and get through. So even as we rally back up, these resistance levels in the chart are something we're going to have to pay attention to. Then let's take a look at our T2101. Pretty commonly when we catch a rally in the market, not selling, we get a pullback in market breadth. And that is exactly what happened here yesterday. Um, holding above that big long downtrend, holding above some price support levels in the chart. So we'll want to watch that closely. And this is that place where if, if we um, find some reason for bearishness and we bounce off of that and see that surge back up, we could see some heavy selling if that were to occur. But it'd be nice to see that continue to just kind of calm down and rest in here for just a little bit. You know, I say those kind of things and what I'd like to see, but I rarely get what I like to see. You know, the market has a really... Um, good way of humbling us all. We know what we want, but we rarely get exactly what we want in the market. So just stay on your toes and watch this carefully. There is a lot of recovery that needs to happen here in the market before we can say, hey, the bulls are finally in control and it's all clear. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got quite a few things here on the day that could move us substantially. Let's notice in here that we're going to get a reading from PMI and ISM manufacturing. Now, the ISM is obviously the more impactful uh, report here today. And both the estimates of the Econo Day, and I'm not saying that they're right, the estimates of the Econo Day are seeing a slight decline in manufacturing data. Now, what that might point to is that concern that the inflation that we're seeing is starting to impact the way consumers are spending. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely 
if they were hap were to miss. And we've seen some numbers here recently where not only did they miss, they missed horribly bad. Um, we'll want to watch that closely. If they come in where they're, uh, where the estimates are, if they come in even better than the estimates are, then we could see that bullish improvement. But I do think there is that risk that inflation could be starting to slow our economy in these numbers. Maybe something we'll want to keep an eye on to see if that is the case. And then we're going to have construction spending numbers. Remember, we had a substantial decline in existing home sales um, last week. Um, we'll want to watch Watch this closely because builders have been um, getting out there and buying lots of permits and things going on and lumber prices have shot back up to unbelievable prices so we'll want to watch that carefully um, if we happen to see a slowing in this that could be a problem it could also be a problem if we see that over exuberance from builders because they might be overbuilding that um, supply out there um, if that is the case um, so watch that closely. And then jobs opening reports, that'll be obviously important for today. We'll kind of keep an eye on that. Those have been lots and lots of jobs open. We'll have to just see if they're starting to be filled or if those numbers are growing or even if those companies are starting to pull back on those job new hires. We'll want to watch that today. Keep in mind as we move forward and plan forward tomorrow, keep in mind we've got those motor vehicle sales, um, uh, mortgage applications that have been in a pretty sharp decline as well as that ADP report and petroleum status. So we've got a busy day yet tomorrow on that calendar. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now we've got a busy day on the earnings calendar. There's no way I can cover all of the earnings events that will occur today. So if you want to catch that full list, click that link just below the title of the video in the description so that you can go back to the morning blog and get those notables for today. Um, take a look. We're going to get um, um, reports uh, Google, Google L, Alphabet today. That will be after the bell today. Obviously, Google can be a substantial market mover. It has been rallying up toward its earnings report and rallying into a substantial area of price resistance in the chart. So anything is possible around that earnings report, and that could set the stage for tomorrow. So remember, after the bell, um, we're going to have this big tech, and um, anything is possible with that. Now, we also have um, AMD that will be reporting after the bell today. That could be an interesting chart. This has been in a substantial sell-off, rallying toward its earnings report and rallying into some resistance areas here in the chart. So be very, very careful um, with charts like this heading into those earnings reports. We're also going to hear from PayPal. PayPal is on the list today. We're going to hear from General Motors um, later on this afternoon, I believe. We've got um, HP on that list. We've got ExxonMobil on that list. Looks like ExxonMobil is already reported. Moving to the upside here, keep a close eye on that oil and energy. Unbelievably strong and just realize every time we see that oil price go up, so does our inflation rate. So watch that closely. We're going to hear from uh, Match.com. We'll want to watch that one. We're going to hear from Starbucks. We're going to hear from, um, let's see, CB. We've just got a lot of reports here. Um, Electronic Arts will be reporting. We've got Genworth reporting today. So keep a close eye on these. There are a lot of um, earnings that could move us around substantially on the day. Keep a close eye on those. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you 
could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. And thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Please feel free to share these videos out there. And thank you so much. We just went over 26,000 subscribers. So thank you everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, be very, very careful about rushing into trades since we've extended so far up this morning. We could see that resting pullback begin at any time in the market. However, these are some charts that you might want to put on a list and keep watching for those potential trades. Let's take a look at BMY. Now, BMY had some volatility here in the market. As you can see, um, we, we were setting up to move to the upside and we had that volatility move at that sell-off in the market, pushing us back down into this price support. But what's interesting is over the last few days, we have recovered this very nicely and we're holding right in this pattern. So let's watch this area right in here. If we can push on through. We may have to rest here a little bit longer. We may need a little more consolidation, but watch that carefully for that possibility of popping out in BMY moving on up here. It's a good strong dividend payer and notice overall we're trending here in this chart. So with a good strong dividend, it's kind of that defensive sector drug area of the market where people are looking for safety and those dividend payers and that's looking just pretty darn good. I have to also put Merck in in that same category. Um, Merck had that same volatility come, come into play, pushed back into this price support. Notice overall trend is up and we're pushing to the upside here. We're looking right in this area to see if we can push on through. Now Merck has a little bit more resistance right here in this chart, as you can see. So it may not be quite ready for prime time yet, but something to keep an eye on Merck trying to come back up in the chart. Take a look at Coca-Cola, defensive sector stocks, some of them had a good day yesterday following through and there we go again here with coke pushing into that resistance area of the chart recovering after the big sell-off if we can rest up in here maybe or if we can push on through there might be some opportunities here in coke so watch that carefully if it can pop on out we also have some pretty good looks take a look at mkc McCormick, an old defensive sector company, um, moving up strongly here. Look here, uh, just pushing through, breaking through resistance, pushing up strongly. I like this chart. I think any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. Keep an eye on McCormick. Uh, VALE um, has been in a really nice pattern here in the market, moving in a nice little upside trend. And we're pulling back and resting, consolidating right in this area. Notice that that consolidation is holding some support over here. And if we can get that reason for bullishness, this is exactly the kind of chart that I look for. Those resting pullbacks, consolidations out to trend for that next opportunity for that to move on higher. Good looking chart, good potential to maybe come around and move on higher. I think there is also a reason to be looking at a VMW. And I mentioned VMW yesterday, tried to pop a little bit, didn't quite make it yesterday and get going here. But notice we have a very good pattern here running up in a trend, pushing through right in here and this little resting pullback in here toward trend. And we could then attack this gap up in here that resistance to the gap and then maybe even work to fill that gap to the upside. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And um, my good friend Rick Sadler created or um, named this pattern and created the uh, strategy to trade it. And I got to tell you, it's a fantastic strategy to learn to trade. Um, and that's just that breaking back above that 50, proving to hold it. And then we stretch out here and seek out that 200 day moving average to the upside. So uh, VMW looking very very good overall there are quite a few other stocks out there that are extremely oversold um, and then there are stocks that are showing lots of potential bearishness take a look at Pfizer if you're looking for a short trade um, one of the members actually brought this up yesterday beautiful beautiful chart 
Um, and you know, I got to tell you, it's one of the advantages of being involved in a community of traders like that because all of these trained eyes are on the market, and sometimes they catch things that I haven't even seen yet. This is a beautiful short setup where we pushed up into that 50 day moving average. Notice that 50 is starting to roll over. We call this a blue ice failure. I talked about the round of bottom breakout, and this is just the opposite of that pattern where we fail the 50, rally back to that resistance, and then we we potentially see that shorting that can come into place and push us back down toward that 200 day moving average. So watch that one closely if you're looking for a short trade. So with that everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day everyone.